I do, uh, I do like libraries and librarians as a, I think I can say that categorically, actually. They seem to me like the, uh, as a wonderful person once said to me, great tools uh, for curing ignorance. What I, what I really wish is that libraries could be open, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or at least something more reasonable than is often the case now. And I, I don't know, I, this was some time ago, but it seemed to me that for the cost of a one fighter bomber, you probably could accomplish that pretty much nationwide. <laughs> the subject, of the, the protagonist of my new book, um, is a great lover of libraries. I mean, they practically saved his life and his, um, certainly his, a good part of his spiritual recovery um, came about in libraries. Can you give us a little preview of the new book? It is about um, a young man who, uh, from Africa, from a, a small and, and a country called Burundi, which went through its own um, horrifying ethnic civil war, uh, from which he escaped. He was a young medical student. I go back with him to the stations of his life, both in Africa and in New York, and where, he, where he arrived with no money, no English, you know, uh, and made his way ultimately to Columbia University. But the, this man made a still miraculous, astonishing recovery. Um, and has gone back to Burundi, he's an American citizen, has gone back to Burundi to build um, a medical facility and public health system in a country which has virtually none of it. Um, so it's, I think, pretty moving. It was moving to me anyway. Yeah.